Your PVC is not the answer. Your vote is. The main contenders are in. The aspirants are ready. The real politicking is about to start. The electorate is scared, excited, apprehensive, agitated, and every other emotion in between. The drumming of get a PVC is reaching a favorite pitch. Unfortunately, the almighty PVC will not solve your problems this election season. Only your votes will. So yes, I know, you cannot vote without a PVC. However, recent statistics have shown that the main problem is voter apathy, not actually the PVC in itself. I mean, let's look at some numbers. In 2011, some 3,528,000 people registered to vote, but only 53.68% of those people showed up. That's about half of that number. In 2015, 68.833 million people registered to vote, and only 43.6% turned up. Again, less than half of that number. In 2019, the most recent election, there were 82.344 million registered voters, the highest so far in the history of Nigeria. But unfortunately, only 34.75%, way less than half of that number, showed up at the polling station. So for three election cycles, 30 million people in the first one, 40 million in the second, and 50 million people, respectively, in the third cycle, registered to vote, but they didn't show up on election day. And that exactly is the problem. Leaders do not win election on, on election days. Trust me. Election is already ongoing right now. Delegates have chosen your candidates for you. If you're not careful, they will also go ahead and choose your leader for you. Let's put this further in numbers perspective. In 2011, 30 million plus registered voters did not vote. And the, that election was decided by about 10 million votes. In 2015, 40 million plus registered voters did not vote. And that election was decided by less than 3 million votes. In 2019, about 50 million registered voters still did not vote. And that particular election was divided by 4 million votes. So does that tell you the actual problem? The actual problem is not your PVCs. It's actually voting on election day. In 2023, what are the margins needed to win this election? Just think about it. It's a numbers game. So I advocate that we set up a database of voters to constitute a thought force. We actually have the numbers. We have the people. We have the funds. Everybody just needs to chip in here and there. We can set up the structure. And we have the youth technology. We have the diaspora. We have the know-how on our side. We can make a loud statement if we actually vote. Very interesting angle to look at it, you know. Yeah. It's just like when I'd normally tell um, startup founders that ideas are zero dollars. Execution is the game. Absolutely. It is a person that moves first <clears throat> that gets the answer. Absolutely. So ideas are like the PVC, which is I've gotten the PVC, I've mm -hmm. registered. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just putting myself out there openly. I mean, I'm putting myself very responsible to the whole world, mm -hmm. right? I, I checked to just confirm that, you know, where I reached my PVC is still intact. And, you know, I haven't gone to pick it. I've been scheduling and scheduling. I think with what you've said now, right, you've triggered me to really make our time this week and go get it. Because, I mean, I voted last time and um, I'd moved places and all of those things. Mm -hmm. So you just got me thinking that I think, or not I think, I believe you're correct, that it is not the PVC, it is the vote, which is that day, they're not going to count, oh, let's count how many PVCs, PVCs that are in, you know, so that let's, let's mark them. Oh, this PVC, are you for this person? Are you, I'm going to ask PVC questions. Mm -hmm. They're going to, you know, count votes. Mm -hmm. And we again, cast. the votes that we cast. So I, I believe it's something that we can start from our space. And, and here's what I'm proposing, right? I recall then, you know, um, where I used to work in the last two elections, I think 2011 elections, you know, and... They, they had, would always ask in every stand-up meeting, um, guys, we've got in your PVC, you're voting, and sure you come out to vote. You know, so it was always a song, and it was almost like we're going to <laughs> deduct your salaries if you don't vote. You know, so it was almost like that. But I thought that also triggered some action. I think what we can do is, in our space, back to what I said about values, as you're probably chilling out with your friends, ah, oh, guys, how far now? We need to 
We need to take this in serious. Mm -hmm. You go to um, ATM point. Guys, have you gone to your PVC? I mean, you just engage mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. you, you, you get on Uber. You're asking the Uber driver. Mm -hmm. Hope say you go vote, Sha. Exactly. You know, think, let, let's begin to yes. consciously, yes. not just say, go and get yes. your PVC. Yes. Can, are you going to come out to vote? Yes. You know, I think it's a very yeah. good thing. Because I love you it. See, one question mm. actually begets the other. True. So True. If, you, if you say, oh, go and get your PVCs. Then people get PVCs. They don't show up in the election. Mm. But if you say to people to vote, it, it's then they understand that, that to vote, they I need must to get, get their PVC. PVC. Mm, that's, that's so we're very, missing the actual that's point. That's very intelligent. The actual point is not the PVC. Mm. Because the PVC is there. Last election cycle, there were 82 million registered voters. It's crazy. Less than 40%. 50 million people refused to vote in that election. Wow. That was won by less than 4 million margins. 4 million people margin. So you must ask yourself, imagine just half of those 50 million people that didn't vote. That come together and say, you know, these are our candidates, and who is who are waiting for? Mm. We would have a different result. Mm. It's true. You know, so it's, 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 it's really not the PVC. So the PVC is important, but the voting is more important. So you must begin to ask the question when you meet someone, are you going to vote? Mm. And they say, oh, I'm going to vote. Then they say, okay, now go and register and make sure you get your PVC. Fantastic. I, I think we need to start asking well, that question. My point yeah. is, um, PVCs are not just means of identification, no. Absolutely. Yeah. Some of them will tell you, I have my PVC. No, go for yeah. say, I beg, go get time. I want this to go back to account. <laughs> yeah. That's number one. Number yeah. two, um, the government should try as much as possible to enable the facilitation, to facilitate the process. You want to go to collect your PVC, the crowd there can discourage people. Mm. Some people are of weak faith. It's not everybody that is as dogged as you that will want to stand long. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in Q, you know, some Nigerians are easily discouraged. Like sure. today, let me tell you what happened. Mm -hmm. I was coming from Ojo today. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I was coming and then on my way, I saw that in, I saw this mammoth crowd in front of Ojo local government. Uh, um, mm -hmm. Today, I sort of, today being, uh, uh, so I saw them standing uh, in front of the local government with placard. We need our PVC. We need our PVC. I don't know what was happening. You see? I, I said, okay. I was like, wow. I wish one of the here. movements that we need so to be happening now. No, they were there. They, went, they actually went to pick up their PVC. Uh -huh. Obviously, someone is not responding to them. Uh -huh. So the government should try and facilitate the process. Yes. We don't make this thing difficult yes. so that people can just do this and get out. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, not everybody right. have that strength and, and stamina to stand long and waiting yeah. for people. The they don't, they don't discourage yes. and they will go back. Yes, because again, when it's I looked at the numbers, right, there are two things that I conclusions I came to. Because numbers don't lie. So it's one of two things. It's either people, there's actual voter apathy, where people refuse to show up on election day. Yeah. Or, because remember, they are register voters. Or people actually register and don't pick up their visas to vote. Mm. Or, there's a system that's been designed to frustrate people from getting well, their PVCs. PVCs. That's, that's and that in itself is voter suppression. So you stay for and two voter days, suppression is know. actually is yeah. an actual crime. So maybe people need to start suing the INEC. Yeah, right? Look at the them. system. Hold them Why to higher standards. So yeah. If I can walk into a bank, and literally five minutes, I get my, I get my, my debit, my, my card, my out. debit card. What can I do? Why that should for? the PVC more difficult to get? Very true. It's difficult. We need to Why hold it. It must be high. that easy to get. I must literally walk into a space, and in five minutes, I can get my, my get on my PVC. But you see, they understand also that they have it in Nigeria because the apathy already exists. All they need to do is just trigger it, and trigger that apathy, and you've given up. Yeah. So and they know and that. that's the margin. They know, they know and, and that's that, 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 that facilitates that you're rigging. You know? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Can we talk to to Kayode if Kayode is Still here with us? Okay, he's not. Okay, okay. you that's know. So that's the yeah. that's the margin that you Make know the difference that facilitates that that rigi because you know yes. someone said. I mean, I, I, when I said this, I knew I was correct, right? Which is rigging needs something to trigger it. Nobody just wakes up and says, you know what, I'm just going to. So something has, there has to be just like um, in chemical reaction. You need um, 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 something that triggers something that triggers yeah, something. I'm not saying students, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's talking about yeah. chain reaction. Chain reaction. But, but the truth is, if, that, if there is no favorable, and I mean, you, you're, you're, you, you did biology, so you know mm -hmm. photosynthesis, At sunlight, so yeah. there has to be the, the, the perfect condition for photosynthesis to happen. Absolutely. There has to be the condition created consciously or subconsciously for rigging to happen. Yes. And oftentimes, we are subconsciously creating that condition by what you said. Mm -hmm. not, number one, not going to pick up your PVCs. Number two, um, the system frustrating you from picking up your PVCs. Mm -hmm. Number three, picking up the PVCs and not actually sure. going out of vote. Say, I beg, they know who is going to come in. And mm -hmm. because of that, so it's now learned mm -hmm. helplessness. Yes. Since I know that even if I vote, it will not count. Yeah. Right. So because mm -hmm. of that, my vote will not count. I refuse to vote. And guess what? If 10 million of me, right, or 10 million people think like yeah. me, 
Rigging, rigging has been absolutely, and that's just a fraction that's, of 200 million people. Is this is the strategy for rigging. That is where we believe. Absolutely, to police. A lot of Nigerians have lost hope in the country, forgetting that they have no other country. Mm. These same Nigerians will have the opportunity of go to America and behave well, go to um, UK and abide by the principle. Well, yeah, in Nigeria, you feel you beg, make they go stay their own. Election is public holiday for them. Yeah, yeah, I know a lot of people that will tell you. I beg, I beg. Let me rest. I beg. Yeah. This election press is public. And, and, and I think also there's a, there's a, there's a country. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I, I think also there's a narrative, you know, redesign that I want to start doing. Mm. There's a narrative problem. Mm. And there are several. So for instance, someone says, oh, my vote will not count. There has to be a narrative shift. Around that, you, right? Think about it. If your vote does not count, then why are they buying votes? It counts. Why are they buying people? <laughs> True. Why are they paying people? True. That's because they expect those people to vote because it's those numbers. Because like you said, there must be a platform for rigging to take place. Hmm. Someone cannot rig on zero votes. Exactly. He must have 200 votes for him to say, oh, it was 2,000. Or 2,000. You exactly. saw when they were counting the thing mm. yesterday. The guy went from 79 to 100. To 100. Mm. You know, <laughs> yeah, mm. they, you know, during the primaries. I guess it's But guess what? <laughs> he had to account to 79 to get to 100. Mm. Yeah. The guys that had zero, there's no way they would have gone to 79 in the first place. Exactly. So you, see, so you have to create first. It has to be an enabler. Yeah, yeah. it has to be an enabler. And we're, we're enabling the rigging by ourselves. Yeah, so you mm. must make people understand. Every time people say, oh, uh, after all, the vote won't count. You must let them realize that True. if your vote did not count, why would they be coming to give you money? Mm. Because that's because they need you to cast your vote for the rigging to happen. Mm. So if you're going to make a change, it's the same environment we have to create. Mm. Because think about it. If you have 50 million people not voting, mm. just think about it. In 2019. It's a very and, ludicrous and in 20, number. And ima and imagine how frustrated we were in 2019. Mm. And 50 million people decided not to show up on election day. So the question is, are we actually really tired? You must think about it. Those are heavy numbers. That's a quarter of the Nigerian population. Yeah, not showing yeah. up. Not showing up on election day. And these people registered. So the critical questions we want to be asking ourselves. So that's one narrative. The other narrative is, oh, they already know who is going to be there. If they already know who is going to be there, then why are they why conducting they elections? elections? <laughs> yeah. So, so because they spend a lot of money, billions of naira go into planning, preparation. Yeah. So why do you waste all that money if exactly. you know? When exactly. you say, guys, this is the new president. Thank you. Goodbye. Yes. You know. So which we, is why I'm saying that problems. elections so are already important. taking place now. Mm. Exactly. Elections are not one election day. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think that Nigerians will understand. Elections are not one election. They are, they are one way before. So look yeah. at yesterday now. As I, so today was the deadline to present, you know, candidates yeah, for your yeah, party. Yeah. Yeah. Which means that by today. You have no choice as to who you are going to vote for. Uh, yeah, except those that are really As there. who you vote for. Do you know what I'm saying? So now they've presented seven people. You must vote for one of these one seven of them, people. Yeah. Exactly. Which is why Nigerians will not come and say, oh, we are voting for the lesser evil. But what happened to you making yeah. sure that you had no evil in that first, mix, in, in the first mix? Place? Yeah. <laughs> which is why everybody needs to get involved. You need to get sure. involved in, your, in politics. It's a road your map. street and your community. It, it, it takes a while. But I believe that if we start to create that critical mass now, we would absolutely get there. Mm. Who was the youth population of Nigeria? Sure, sure. You know, you must think about it. That, that's why that's why I said um, we have to encourage uh, religious organizations, bodies, religious bodies. They can't say <laughs> there's no politics should not be mixed with religion. Now we have to mix it now. <laughs> uh, tell your members to, 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 to go and I think a pastor PVC. said that that's, no counseling, no PVC, no counseling. That's a bit, that's a bit pastors and imams. It was funny, but that's a bit dicey because the reason why that's dicey is because the uh, reason why that's a bit dicey is because a lot of times the leaders of these organizations also align with some, you know, politicians. Mm. And in the event that the person your leader is aligned with does not align with your own personal values, then how do you... So what I think that, you know, the religious person needs to do is to encourage a registration, encourage voting, encourage participation. Mm. It's not just to say, oh, you know, go and vote for this person. Because a lot of times, you know, we've heard... You know, a lot of the, some of these people that, you know, get involved with some of these, you know, politicians. And there's a lot of, you know, um, inconsistencies in that area. So I think that religious bodies need to start encouraging their people to get involved in early participation sure. as well. That's, I mean, that's look at the what the truth is. Well, I mean, that's why I said, okay. the places of religion should be non-partisan, but should encourage healthy politicking. First things first, encourage your members to get their PVCs. I'm mm -hmm. not saying pastors should endorse any candidates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily when have to get into any that candidates. Mm -hmm. yeah, again, Even if you're yeah. the pastor, you're running yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't have the right to compel your members to vote for you. Yeah. Let your work and your values and your vision mm -hmm. and your idea speak, for, speak for you. Absolutely. But they should go and get their PVC. Yeah. I mean, and vote. Yeah. 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 You need to keep adding. You need to keep and vote. You need to keep adding. Get your PVC and vote. So thank you so much. I mean, just for your up, thank you so much for bringing this to four. It's really amazing what you've said because 
that vote is the action, like is the completion of the exercise. Absolutely. You know, so once we shift the message to, you know, are you voting? Mm -hmm. Why are you not voting? Ah, Oga, I don't get PVC. Why don't you have PVC? Exactly. Oga, you know, so we begin to, you know, um, um, take out the root cause of the, but if you say, go and get your PVC, oh, I'll get it later. Mm -hmm. So that means action ends at when I have my PVC. That's Absolutely. what we're subconsciously saying. And what Tolu is, you know, saying today really is to charge us. And again, I'm bringing to bear what I said before. All advocates, right, and everybody in Nigeria, literally, we can control this one, which is the people in your circle of influence, we can actually begin to ask them, are you voting? You know, absolutely. and it's a very good thing Tolu has said. Thank you so much, Tolu. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, I mean, absolutely, like you said, until we ask the right questions, you know, sometimes we won't get the right answer. So the mm. question is actually, do you plan to vote? If you plan to vote, then surely you must get a PVC to vote. We well, thank you for your attention while the program lasted. We hope that our conversations resonated with you and that in some small way, we may be able to encourage you to contribute your, to your immediate environment. Little drops of water, they say, make a mighty ocean. Don't forget, The Advocacy continues on our social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com slash The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa, and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Join us next week, same time, on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.